Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to LEGO Empire, and in today's video, we are going to lo be looking at the LEGO Star Wars sets that we need to have happen in the near future. Now, big thank you to BrickWizard59 on YouTube and Instagram, I will leave both of his social medias in the description below, for providing these custom set images and concepts. Now, without further ado, let's get into this. The first set we have here is the... Coruscant Guard Republic gunship. Now, this is based off of that arc in the Clone Wars where Rush Clovis is taking control of a banking system that both the Republic and Separatists use, and Count Dooku basically manipulates him into um, doing some pretty pretty bad things. And so this gunship is based off of that. It comes with Rush Clovis for the first time ever, Count Dooku, Phase 2 Commander Thorne, and two Phase 2 Coruscant Guards. Now, I really like the design of this gunship, especially that Red Republic logo on, um, like, next to the cockpit. And, you know, the bubble turrets look amazing. It's basically just as good as any other gunship, but even better, in my opinion, because the Coruscant Guard feel to it just kind of makes it seem even better than it already is, somehow. It's hard to explain, but yeah, let's get on to the next set. Alright, next up, we have the Camino Training Facility. Now... In the Camino training facility, um, it's basically where clones are trained on Camino, which is pretty straightforward. This is actually um, this would involve the Domino Squad, which is a squad we get to see uh, in the Clone Wars while they are training to become clone troopers. Now, this set includes Echo, Heavy, Cut Up, and Fives, along with two Commando Droids and two B1 Battle Droids, I believe. Let me see here. Yeah, and this is just amazing, right? So, the Camino training facility, it is created like this in Season 3 of the Clone Wars to resemble the Citadel, so the clones would have a good idea of what they're up against if they were going to go up against something like the Citadel, which is one of the highest, like, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the hardest tasks you can complete as a clone trooper. So, the thing I really like about this is the kind of towers the droids get to be on. Like, it adds so much to the build other than the main Citadel part. The two towers on the sides really add more depth to the build, and I kind of like that. The um, like It's really nice the clones get cover in this. Like If, if that wasn't included, it wouldn't make much sense because they wouldn't have anywhere to go, and they'd get shot down pretty quickly. And the Citadel build itself is amazing as well. You can see all of the um, turrets on the like middle part of the build, and you can see the two manual turrets on the outside part of the build. Along with um, containers that, I, I don't know, I guess contain something that, that belongs to the Separatists. And I really like the green and gray combination of this. It makes it look really nice. And the kind of flag or whatever they're capturing in the um, training exercise is at the top of the Citadel. And overall, this set just looks amazing. I mean, it's there's nothing else to say about this. It's just a crazy good set that we need some time in the near future. If it was to retail, it'd be for probably eighty-five to ninety dollars. Um, they might even stretch it to a hundred if they were to make something like this. So yeah, let's go on to the next set. So the next set we have here is the Separatist Super Tank. Now this is a set I would definitely buy in a heartbeat. It would probably retail for anywhere from like forty-five dollars to sixty. Um, this is from a arc in the Clone Wars, one of my favorite arcs, the Geonosis arc, where they go back to the droid factory to basically destroy it because they are making new and more powerful weapons, such as the super tank, which is basically invincible, right? The only way you can destroy it is, like they learned in the show, is to kind of collapse the bridge, um, of the Geonosis factory, so they just fall into a pit and, you know, I, I guess all it comes crumbling down and you can't really do anything with it, but... Like, it is impenetra impenetrable to, like, gunfire, blasters, all of that. So it is a really cool tank. This set would include Luminara Unduli, as seen in the Clone Wars arc, a Phase 1 Clone Trooper, and two Geonosis Battle Droids. In my opinion, I would add someone else. Okay, so this, this is a really good design, right? I would keep the Super Tank design, but I would completely revamp the minifigure selection. Instead, I would make it of the scene where Barris and Ahsoka are trying to set the bombs. So I would have a very small kind of shield generator um, build like there is in the Clone Wars episode. I would include Clone Wars Ahsoka, Clone Wars Barris, um, 
Poggle the Lesser. No, no, not Poggle the Lesser. I would include two Genos, two Genotions, and a uh, Tactical Droid because that is that that just be amazing figure selection for me. Maybe that's asking for a little bit too much, but that would just be 100% accuracy to the scene, and it would just be absolutely amazing. If we look more at this Super Tank build, it's kind of like if you combined an AAT and an MTT. Like it's it's a tank with tons of weapons. But it's much more armored, like an MTT, and definitely more versatile than an MTT. It's more, you know, it's, its mobility is better, right? And this this set is just outstanding. Like, out of all the sets, the other sets are amazing, right? But this set is something that it would be more affordable, and something you could repurchase. I mean, obviously, if it came with Luminar Unduli, or Ahsoka Unbarris, like I mentioned, that would kind of diminish its um, repurposability, but... Still, it's just, it's an amazing set, and I, there's really no way you could ever ruin this set for me. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. Again, a big thank you to BrickWizard59 for all these custom concepts. Um, you know, his socials, links below. Go follow him on Instagram. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. He is an amazing person. He has much more amazing custom builds. So, if you guys enjoy this video, and if I get a lot of support on this video, I will make a part two using um, perhaps his builds again, if he's fine with that, or someone else's. And yeah, with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you never miss any videos from the LEGO Empire. And I will see you all in the next video. Have an amazing day. Peace out.